Hello boys and girls, welcome to week four of your English tasks. I'm going to take you through the different activities I would like you to do this week. Um, just a quick message, we actually have book week at the end of this week on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. So you're only going to have two English lessons from me on Sunday and Monday. So I've tried to squash the four lessons I had originally planned into these two lessons. So um, listen up and I will explain the activities for you. So we're going to be continuing with our topic of Into the Light, and that's our IPC topic for this whole term. So although we finished our last book all about Baby Bear and writing the letter, we're going to be continuing with that theme. So I've chosen this story called Oil Babies, and I used to love this book whenever I was younger. So luckily there is a lovely video on YouTube and it's animated, so the pictures kind of move around. So if you click on the link just um, at the top of this slide, you can go on to YouTube and listen to the story. And that's all I want you to do for today's lesson. I want you to listen to the story, look at the pictures and really enjoy it. And then there are some questions that I want you to think about, but there's nothing for you guys to upload today. So you don't need to put any work onto your portfolios for today's task. I just want you to think about what characters there are in the story. Can you remember their names? And what happens in the story? Can you retell the story to someone in your family in your own words? Where is the story set? So that means where does it happen? And the last thing I want you to think about is who wrote the story? And do you know any other books by this author? So today's lesson, it's all about getting to know the story so that whenever we come to writing about our topic this term, you can be really familiar. OK, boys and girls, today's lessons learning target is to be able to identify the features of a fact file. So I know you guys have never written a fact file before, but we're getting on to things that we need to learn for you guys to move up to year two. So I'm going to explain this as best I can so that you guys can write your own fact file at the end of this writing topic. So for now, we are just exploring this genre. Um, I'm going to show you some different examples of a fact file, explain what they mean, and then your task for today will be writing a, a checklist of what features you need to include when you write your own. So we are going to be writing a fact file about oils. Um, and that I got that idea just from the book that you guys listened to yesterday. Um, and a fact file is just a collection of information about a particular topic. So we're going to write a collection of information all about oils. So before we actually start writing them, you guys need to become more familiar with what exactly a fact file is. So I'm going to show you guys some different examples that I find. We're going to go through the features together. We're going to label one together. And then at the end, I want you guys to use that to help you write a checklist. So I find um, a few different fact files online and I choose the ones that I thought you guys would like the best. So when you look at these, I think you can notice immediately that they're quite colourful and they're bright and they've got lots of pictures and things to look at. So this is what we want to do with our own fact file. We don't want it just to be on a plain piece of paper with lots and lots of writing, all black and white. We want it to really um, grab people's attention so that people really look at it and, and, and read the information on it. So I'm going to read through these first and um, I'll do the beaches one to begin with. So at the top here, it says all about beaches. And then what is a beach? It is made of sand or pebbles. It is found next to the water. Then the next part, beach activities. You can have lots of fun at the beach. You could build a sand castle, go for a swim in the water, play a ball game, have a picnic. And then there's lots of pictures around that part. And then down at the bottom, it says popular UK beaches. There are over 200 beaches in the UK and the UK is the United Kingdom and then some of the beaches are labelled. So that's the fact file all about beaches. I've chosen one about pirates here. Pirates. A pirate is a person who attacks and robs ships. Pirate ships. Some pirate captains would start with a small ship and crew. Once they had captured a bigger ship, they would use that instead. And then this part explains what pirates dress like. They use a bicorn hat and a bandana. Pirates today can still be found in Africa, but they don't dress the same as they used to. And then famous pirates from long ago. There are two examples here. John Jack Rackham, and he made the Jolly Roger flag. And Bartholomew Roberts, and he stole 4,000 ships. 
And then there's this part down here at the bottom that says, did you know? And it's a, a fact, but I actually can't read it because my little video was on top of it. But that's quite common in a facts file to have a little part at the bottom um, that says, did you know? And it explains a real fun fact for you guys. Here are two more fact files. Um, I'm not going to read them in detail. I'm just going to take you guys through the features because this will help us whenever we come to label our own. So this one over on the left is all about the solar system and the title is shooting for the stars. Then it says our planet, our solar system, the moon. And just like I was explaining there, it says, did you know? And there's a bit of a fun fact at the bottom. So on here, we can see that there's a title. There's also some pictures. And just like the ones about beaches and pirates, it's also really bright and colorful. And the last one I've chosen is the FA Cup. The FA Cup is a men's football tournament and then it has some pictures of a stadium and the trophy and some spectators and, and that's someone who goes to watch the football. So they are some examples of um, fact files, just so you guys can have a look because we might not have seen these before. So I have actually written my own fact file and I'm going to take you through the text in it and I will explain the features as well. So I wrote a fact file all about dogs because they are my favourite animal and I also thought it would be helpful because when we write our um, fact file about oils, they're also animals so we can use this one to really help us write our own fact file. So I'll read this. At the top I have put a title and the title is all about dogs. Then I have got some things here. What is a dog? Diet? How to care for a dog? And did you know? These um, bits of text that I have drawn a line under are actually called subtitles, subtitles. And that is one feature that we are going to be including in our fact file. So we've got a title at the top and then we've got subtitles. So the first subtitle says, what is a dog? A dog is a type of animal. It is a mammal and is often kept as a pet. There are lots of different breeds of dog, approximately 360 different types. They normally live for around 12 years, but there are records of dogs living for up to 27 years. Underneath that, there is a picture of a dog and it's labelled, so it explains the different body parts. And just like us, it has ears, eyes, cheeks, tongue. We don't have paws or claws though, but there are lots of similarities between us and dogs. And you can see that from the labelled picture just there. Then the next subtitle is diet. Not all dogs eat the same thing. What is right for one dog might not be right for another. Domesticated, and that word means if a dog lives in a house. So domesticated dogs are mostly carnivores, which means they eat meat. Dogs should mostly eat dog food. This can be wet or dry. And some human food is really dangerous for dogs, such as chocolate, and it can make them really sick. The next subtitle says, how to care for a dog. Dogs can be wonderful pets, but they need a lot of care. They need to be exercised and taken on walks to keep them healthy and fit. Dogs should have their own bed where they can sleep and rest. Some dogs like to have toys too and can even play fetch. And then the last subtitle at the bottom is that little extra bit that I was telling you about. Did you know, it says, three dogs survived the Titanic sinking. A Pomeranian puppy was wrapped up in a blanket and people thought that it was a baby. Another Pomeranian and a Pegans, Peganese were also rescued. Okay, so that is a fact file that I wrote all about dogs. And this includes all of the features that I would like you guys to include whenever you write your own fact file about the oils. But we've got lots of lessons to plan and prepare before we actually start writing. So don't worry, today I just want you to write your own checklist of features. So before we do that, we are going to label the features in this checklist together. And this will really, really help you when you write your checklist. So over in the corner here, I've written the different um, features, title, subtitle, factual language, picture, capital letters, finger spaces, and full stops. Full stops is at the bottom here. It might be covered by my little video if I can't move it. The one thing here that I need to explain is factual language and factual language means that it is something that is not made up. So like me saying um, a dog is a type of animal, that is correct. If I were to say dogs are the best animals in the world, some people might not agree with me. So that's not fact. Factual language needs to be used in a fact file. And this is what I've got in this um, 
fact file all about dogs. All of the information is factual. It's not what I think. It's not what you think. It is fact. It is set in stone. So we're going to label the features together. I will label them with, um, let's choose red. I'm going to draw a red line from each of these features to whereabouts they are on the fact file. So the first one I need to identify here is the title. The title of something always goes at the top. So as I can see at the top of this fact file, it says all about dogs. So I'm going to draw a line from here to here, just like that. The next part is subtitle. So subtitle are smaller titles that go underneath the title. And in this fact file, there are four. What is a dog? Diet. How to care for a dog. And did you know they're all subtitles? OK, so I'm going to just choose one of them so that um, it doesn't look too messy here. I'm going to label um, this one here. Diet. That's a subtitle, but I'll just do a line underneath the other ones. This is a subtitle. This is a subtitle, this is a subtitle, and this is a subtitle as well. The next part, factual language. So like I was saying there, boys and girls, we don't want opinions. So it's not what you and I think, it's what is set in stone, what is a fact. So let me um, get one. There are three different, different types, 360 different types. That is a fact, okay? So I'm going to underline that here. There are 360 different types of dogs doing a circle, I'm trying to keep this as neat as I can. And I'm going to draw a line over to factual language. There we go. Hopefully you can follow what I mean. The other thing that I would like you guys to use in a fact file is a picture. OK, so the different uh, examples that I showed you at the beginning, the ones about the beach and the FA Cup and pirates, they all were really bright and colourful and they had pictures to really grab the reader's attention. So I've used a picture of a dog here and I think it would be a really good idea if when you guys wrote your fact file all about owls, you could do different pictures, maybe of where they live or what they look like or different types and things like that. So I'm going to draw a, a line from the word picture over to the picture of a dog here. Then the next three things that I want you guys to use, I'm sure you guys could say these in your sleep. Three things that you need in every single sentence, capital letter, finger space, full stop. So you can find lots of capital letters, finger spaces and full stops. I'm just going to do one that is close to um, these features over at the side here. So um, let's see. Dogs, this D is a capital. So I'm going to draw a line over here, capital letters, finger spaces. Between every word I have used a finger space. So I'm going to just choose this one here and draw a line. And the last one is full stop. You can also use question marks and exclamation marks as well, boys and girls, and I'm sure you can see that I've used a few of them, but I'm going to choose to label a full stop here. And remember, the full stop comes at the end of your sentence. So there we go. I have labeled that fact file that I wrote all about dogs. There are seven things that I have labeled title, subtitle, factual language, picture, capital letters, finger spaces, full stops. So seven things. Remember that number because it will help you on your next part of the test. So this is what I want you guys to do for today's lesson. I want you to write the fact file checklist. So as you can see in the table that I've drawn for you here, you guys can just get a sheet of paper um, and, and draw your own table. No need to print anything out, just draw it yourselves. So I've drawn um, a table and one part says feature, one part says symbol. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces for you to write seven different features. If you're not quite sure what features, go on to the previous slide and use the features that I um, I labelled and that will really help you. So whenever you write the feature, I want you to think of a symbol. So we already have some symbols in mind and for the ones that we haven't created a symbol yet, you guys can make those ones up. So that is your task for today. Um, that is all of your writing tasks for this week because from tomorrow onwards we will have book week activities. So I know this might be a lot for you guys to take in because we haven't done fact files yet in school, but we need to make sure that we're still covering things so that when you guys move up to year two, you will be ready to go. So good luck with it. Remember to use the previous slide to help you. And I look forward to seeing what you guys send in on your portfolios. Bye.